Yo yo guys, back with another video. Today we're going to be doing Venthyr Rogue one shot. And the last video I did of this, I was actually only using the 252 conduit. So this time I'm actually using the 278 version. I actually think it's a wonderful build. It's very OP, I think it's still. I actually tried it out. This is my first time using it since then. So you could do a full mastery build. I'm actually doing a verse build. So I think the next time I'm going to do a full mastery build and see the difference. But um, I am stacking verse on this one. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be baiting Trinket with our mini go, which is Shadow Dance, our Orc Racial, and the all, and um, that's basically it. And Symbols and Shadow Dance, obviously, all those combined will get Trinket, and then we're going to 1v1 kill him. As you can see, my warrior is going to open. He traps right here, so all my warrior has to do is Reflect Trap to open on the Hunter. So as you can see, he's going to run into the trap with Reflect. It's going to get our opener that we wanted. I'm going to Kinney, and then I'm going to Blind. Even though he has Iron Bark, we're still going to get cooldown. So I, I could have been definitely a little bit faster, but he does get the Iron Bark. doesn't really matter that much because he still Trinkets right here, as you can see. And then we're just trying to get more pressure off. And now well, all we have to do is 1v1. Now you've got to be really careful with Pet Sack here. If he didn't click Pet Sack, then you're, you'd be in really big trouble because he can Pet Sack through 1v1. So you got to make sure, I, I need to start tracking pet sex so I know if he has it or not, because I don't, I don't even remember if he clicked it. But all we're going to be doing here is we're going to try to get a restealth, and then we're going to open. Now, we're, what you really want to do is try to get your combo points first, and then do it. So instead here, I just open, I'm going to kinny him. I tried to go for a re, but I was like, eh, it doesn't really matter that much. So as you can see, I'm going to kinny, I'm going to use our trinket, and we're going to use our flag, and then we're going to eviscerate and then vanish. And as you can see with the eviscerate combined, it's really big damage. Not much that guy can do about that one. And it's in Shadowy Duel. So they do die. If they don't have any cooldown usage, they just die. There's nothing they can do. I checked the damage there. But um, yeah, if he had Pet Sack, all my crit damage would have been canceled out, which is my whole legendary. I'm actually using the 100% crit legendary. Now, if I use the, um, the blue badge, I actually could enhance this thing by a little bit. But then I think you lose out on the Cosmic Trinket, which you really need for this build. Because you, with the extra HP. So same thing here. We're going to bait out Trinket. And then we're going to 1v1 kill the Rogue. I think I messed up the rotation once this video. Because this is like my first time playing it back again. And I'm used to carrying. So I do open with the blind here. To bait out this Trinket. I try to stab off it. But I do auto attack on my thing. But it doesn't really matter that much. Because we already got the cooldowns that we needed. So my guys are going to intervene rally me here. Now we don't want to use Vanish. Your main thing is to not use Vanish. So, Vanish is a huge part of your build. You're probably not going to be able to kill anybody without Vanish. So, you really need to try to save it. So, either if your partner is just tanking the damage, like my guy is right now, or whatever. So, you want to get your 5 combo points. You want a Kinney, and you always want that Mark for Death for the Eviscerate. So, we're trying to get a Restealed, and as soon as we get the Re, we're going to open. Because you get the 2 seconds of crit. So, as you can see... We're going to Kinney, 1v1, Cloak in the 1v1, and we're also going to use our Trinket, and we're going to Vanish, and as you can see, we hit a Fat Eviscerate with the proc, with the Trinket, and there's nothing he can do about it. Unless it's like a Disc Priest, and then you'd have to get Dome, but we do take him out. Not much he can do about that one. So, I think this build is actually really good with the 278 Conduit. I think if you don't have Best in Slot, then you I wouldn't play this build until you have like full... 2400 conduits fully geared fully gemmed it's like you have to have everything you know to the max so here again we're going to be trying the bait trinket we actually get wall here which is really good and all we really need to be doing is we're going to disarm his burst and that's going to allow us to uh he's going to trinket because usually every warrior that pops off they're going to trinket disarm so as you can see he trinkets disarm offensively and we got the cooldowns i needed so we got wall we got trinket so now he has nothing he can push in the stun and all we really need to do now is wait. We're going to get our five combo points. We're going to sap the priest just to get our combo points. It, we're not going to stun yet. We're going to get combo points so we can have the mark for death eviscerate for the extra crit one shot damage. Because without the eviscerate, it's kind of iffy on your damage. So I, you definitely want to save mark for death for a eviscerate. Especially versus really geared warriors that like have almost 100k HP as you can see. So I'm going to sap. I'm not going to kinney. I'm going to open with the combo points. And then we're going to 1v1. So I do blind him here. We're going to trinket. And we're going to cloak the 1v1. And as you can see, he does just die. And we just got unhealable damage. And we do skip it here so we can just kill him. So he actually tries to kill me, but he has no chance. Like every other healer, he just dies. And it is on to the next game. Basically, there's not much he can do. He's a healer, so goodbye, sir. On to the next game. But yeah, I think this build with the, everything, if you have everything, it's really good. Honestly, even without it, if you're facing people around your gear, I think it's an insane build still. But you do have to play it correctly. 
if you do play it wrong, then it's going to be really painful. You're going to be really far behind. So here what we're going to be doing is we're going to sat the priest, start on the windwalker, and basically all we're doing is trying to get trinket. So he pre-walls, which is a cooldown, so it's not a big deal to us because I'm going to DR blind him to get his trinket. Same thing, you got to get his trinket. The one cooldown in the game here is trinket. So even if it's a DR blind, if it was somebody good, these guys are only like 2k. So they're just one they're just one button smashers that, you know, they're just they'll click at trinket aggressively every single time no matter what. So that's why at 2k CR it's really fun, but also I mean even if they're really geared, it doesn't really matter. They you know, they're melee, so they're just gonna trinket whatever I put at them when they're bursting. So as you can see, we got trinket, he's gonna incap me. We're gonna get our combo points, or you can mark for death. Let's see what happens here. This might be a... so he does charm me, which is fine. I'm not gonna trinket. Just in case he gets the fear. I actually, this is the go. I messed it up. I was like cold fingers here. As you can see, I'm going to kinny him. And I kinny him. I'm a cloak. And I actually clicked my, I forgot to click my Venthyr ability. It was late. So as you can see, I trinket and he still dies without even using Marvel for Death. That's how broken this build is. When you have your, you know, all your cooldowns and all that good stuff. And he has no trinket, so he can't survive it. On in the last game here. If you guys want to see more Venthyr Road guides or Venthyr Road videos, if you guys want to see a Venthyr Road guide so I can explain more in depth of what you're trying to do, you know, the rotation, what comps, you know, the counter comps, how to beat the counter comps as Venthyr, all that good stuff. And what we're going to be doing here is the same thing. We're going to sap. He actually wards off early, so we're going to cheap shot the ward. He's going to fear off my cheap shot. So as you can see, he fears. We're going to stun instantly, and then. He gets a blade storm proc, unfortunately, on my kidney shot, so it is what it is. We get cheap we get trinket on the first go. Same thing here. He has wall, and I actually kill this guy through wall. So as you can see, I'm gonna blind him to stop taking damage. Your goal is to basically get trinket and wall. So I actually should have blinded the priest off DR and then kidneyed the weir again. And then I should have killed him. But as you can see, it doesn't matter. As long as I, I kill him back here no matter what, even through a wall, he dies. So this is how broken this is. So I 1v1 him here. He's my trinket, vanish, and as you can see, he does get taken out. My trinket comes in, and he does die. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. I enjoyed making it. I will see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you want to see next.